episode of Pastor Chef. My name is Christopher Devon Stackhouse, senior pastor at Lewis Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, one church at three locations. As a matter of fact, you're part of it right now because you're with our connected campus. This is Pastor Chef's Kitchen, and with me, I have another wonderful special guest chef. I'll let him introduce himself. I am Brian Johnson, member here at Lewis Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. All right, I like the energy, man. Yeah, you, you, you know. Yeah, you, you, you ready. You ready I'm today. Ready. All right, Brian. Um, where do we start? Because, like always, I look at the ingredients, and you may not be able to see the ingredients right there because it's behind the sign, but we have a, uh, what looks like a bowl full of chitterlings. <laughs> well, I can guarantee you it's not that, because okay, I would not right. be eating it. All but, right. uh, it's actually shrimp. You got shrimp, the shrimp right. already peeled in the vein for you. But we're right. gonna start out with is the pasta. I figured I'd let you choose that since you know see your pasta and whatnot. Okay. Uh, uh, so we got some linguine and we got some penny pasta. Now there. see, so, now this is me and Savannah's dilemma every time. We just had this dilemma just a few days ago. <laughs> Which pasta do you go with? I mean, they both kind of taste the same, but at the same time it seems like the shape it just changes. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? A little bit. Uh, you know what? Let's do the uh the penne. Gotcha. I think is how you say it. But now, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Is that is that how you say it? How, how do you say it? Yeah? Penny? Penne? Yeah. We're gonna go with this one. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go no, with that. Right Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'll let you open that. We're, okay. gonna, we're gonna use the whole box of right. penne pasta and then we're gonna pour it in our, our water over there. Now what is this thing that we're poured it into. I have never, never, I have never seen one of these. I don't know, have y'all ever, I have never seen whatever this thing is. So essentially, if you're on the go, maybe you're in a college dorm room trying to cook real quick, you don't have a big pot and stove, you just take that, pour some water in there in your pasta, and I'll actually, in a few seconds, we'll put a couple dashes of salt in it, just to give our new some flavor. You said college dorm? So you, you were did. making this in a, in a college oh, dorm? Oh yeah, you stick that in the microwave, Throw that in the microwave, maybe 10, 15 minutes, cook your pasta, strain it right there. Well, you were, uh, I'm sorry, I got a sidetrack us here. I got a sidetrack. <laughs> when you were in college, were you allowed to have a microwave in your dorm room? Oh, we had a full on kitchen in our, in our dorm room. What college you go to? Coastal Carolina down in Myrtle Beach, home of the Chanticleers. Shout out to Coastal Carolina. I went to AT. My um, dad went to AT. Yeah, we were not allowed to have microwaves in our uh, in our dorm room. Really? But you could, you could, it, it was this weird rule. You could, you couldn't have a microwave, but if you covered your microwave, the, uh, what are they called, RAs? Yeah. Were not allowed to, to lift me. anything. So everybody had them. You just put a towel yeah, over it. Yeah, we heard about it, gotcha. Okay, so anyway, I just had to sidetrack this because it took me back. So we're gonna take a couple dashes of salt, just, you know, just a little bit. All right. There's no real measurement there. Just a little. Let me move it over here. A little bit of salt. Right. Is that good? A little, you want little, a little, little, bit more? little bit more. That should be good there. All right. And then we're going to pop that on there. All right. And then we're going to stick this in the microwave for about 13 you know, minutes right there to get that done. 13 minutes. Yes, sir. OK. So now we're going to start preparing our, our onions. So we're going to dice our onions first. All right. Are you dicing some? Oh, uh, no. I'll, I'll figure I'll let you. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. I didn't know if I needed to put because I see two of them now. Oh, so one we're going to have for our meats, and then the other one no, we're going to use for yeah. our uh, onions. Are we, am I dicing? We do that. We're actually going to just use one. If you cut your onion into quarters, we'll just use one like that. All right. Here we go. So we're going to knife over there. Oh, yeah. They had some big win this year. I can't remember. One of our biggest wins came against BYU, who was undefeated. At BYU, the time. We, we, all right. We were both undefeated, and then uh, BYU came to town because one of our games got canceled due to COVID. So BYU came to town, and uh, that, that's who it was. It was BYU. BYU, you know, a nationally recognized program. So right. they all beat them. They really put y'all on the map. Exactly. That's right here. 
And then we can go ahead and chop our chicken as well. Usually I would have a chicken breast, but you know, for the sake of time, I just want him to get some strips of chicken we can use. Yeah, sounds good to me. Now, how fine do you want this chop? And this is my kind of recipe. You put the noodles in the microwave, the chicken is already already cooked. We just go warm that up. Right. And uh, yeah, this, this is my kind of recipe. A good, quick recipe. Like I said, it's something simple, whether you're at home trying to cook on the go or in a college dorm room and you don't have much time or you're just trying to get a quick meal in because the, the, the cafe is already closed. You can go ahead and do this in your dorm room real quick. So yeah, that, that's, like, that's, like this? Oh, that's fine. Sounds like, like that? And even if you want to get bigger than that, you know, it's cool. Okay, too. all right, all right. I don't, I don't want to go too small. Last thing we'll do before we head over to the stove top, we're just gonna go ahead and get our, our butter ready as well. Yeah, this uh, salted butter, okay. Right. So we got our onion dice, we have our chicken, and now we're gonna take our, our salted butter. And we're actually gonna, we're just gonna cut about an eighth of, of a stick of butter. We're not, we're not gonna use the whole stick, it's about an eighth. An eighth? What is an eighth? About a half. Was a half of a quarter. <laughs> 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 I was messing with you. I got it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and drop that in there with the onions. With well. the onions, got it. So now we have that, that, and that. We can go ahead and head over to the stove top. All right. So we got our piece of butter. We have our diced onion. We, we our have our chopped chicken. chicken. Right. We're gonna need the shrimp right there. We're gonna need it eventually on the stove top. So really. Everything uh, else we get on out. Hey, yeah, everything's going right. out. I'm gonna need that stove top. So All right, cool. Back here. I'll come back and grab the seat. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our butter and our onions. We'll go ahead and dump that in our, our, our pan right here. All right. And our heat is on on low. You can have, you know, depending on your stove, I guess. Would be All right. So high. you just want to get it nice enough to melt your butter and whatnot. Ooh. Oh, that's getting hot right there. And then, while well, while well, that's doing what that's gonna do. Uh, you can take uh, some garlic. Caramelizing, right? That's right. what we do with this. We caramelize. Some, some fresh right. garlic, fresh mixed garlic here, and you'll take uh, two teaspoons of this. And then, uh, two teaspoons of garlic. Two teaspoons of garlic. Your mama, you heard that right. That's what this season is called by Walker and Sons. It is. So, we're gonna take a little bit of this slappy mama to your taste. Really, I usually put you know, shake maybe a couple teaspoons on it, but really just the taste. You sprinkle it over the chicken that way it gives it more, more seasoning. Than that. Okay, so there really is no measurement, just however much you like, right? Okay, well, go ahead. Now, this does have a little spice to it, nothing crazy. We're trying to get that in there nice and seasoned right well, there. Maybe because of the uh, chili peppers over there, right. it's gonna have a little, have a little seasoning on it. Getting hungry? Yeah, I know I am. It's starting to smell good. Can yeah, it's smelling real good in here. Let me get that rest on there. And then, while we have the chicken going, we're gonna since the shrimp doesn't take long to cook, we're gonna focus on there now, and then we're gonna, is it on low? take longer to cook, so we're just going to go ahead and throw the shrimp in there as well. A little bit more slappy mama. Yeah, because the shrimp needs a little slapping too, right? Right. We don't want to leave anything unslapped. Yes, right. You hear that? Nothing's going to be left unslapped today. <laughs> now with this recipe. 
full pan. When you cook, you know, cook in a pan, this big? Not usually that big. Yeah, because when your pan got to be pretty full unless you cook it smaller. So. I mean, usually, I'll, it's usually not just me eating it, but usually I'll just have leftovers. Especially now, since I'm up here at Pepper State now, um, I'm at home, so I'm here. So, so what are you doing over at Pepper State? We're getting a master's. In what? Uh, business administration. Just general business administration. How's that going? It's good. I just started January 25th. That was my first semester, so. Um, oh, you just started. I'm fresh. Now, we have a can of Camel's Cream of Chicken right here with herbs in it. It's a 10 and a half ounce can. It's about all you need. And then we'll I'll take it for you. All right. Next ingredient, Campbell's Cream of Chicken with herbs. Just go ahead and put it in there, right? Yeah, you can go ahead and put it in there. It's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> it's fighting me. There it is. All right. So now we're just going to stir that up in there and get it nice and liquefied. Now I was a little worried about being able to tell if the shrimp was cooked all the way. Well, uh, one thing about shrimp, it won't take long to cook at all. But here's the thing. I was like, well, it's no problem. I can see it. So, because I can see it, I, I can tell if it's cooked or not. But now I'm throwing in the cream of chicken, and now I'm, I'm like, well, how do I know? So now that's what I'm going through, trying to make sure all the shrimp is on the pan. <laughs> what we not going to do around here is eat some raw shrimp. Eat some raw shrimp. That ain't, we not eating raw shrimp. So I think we can, uh, it looks like it's cooking pretty well. It looks like it's cooking great. That actually does look good. <laughs> it looks good. So next thing is that seasoning. Is that seasoning? Is that already putting, on? Yeah, it's already putting that that pop in there. So that now we're gonna take some heavy whipping cream, about a cup and a quarter, and then pour that in there and get get it. A little cup little. and a quarter of heavy whipping cream. That's a okay. You go ahead and pour it in there. Get that all through there. Now what city is Coastal Carolina in? Technically it's in Conway. Conway, South Carolina, but it's you can about walk to Myrtle Beach. So really? It's right right there next to Myrtle Beach. Had some milk just to thicken up a bit. It's about a cup of mozzarella cheese right here. Okay. A cup of mozzarella cheese. I'm loving this recipe. I got I gotta be honest with you. I'm loving this recipe. Sprinkle that throughout there. Now once again, how much mozzarella are we putting in? It's about a cup. About a cup of mozzarella. So about a cup of mozzarella. It's gonna help thicken it up. I feel like I'm working in the kitchen of an <laughs> Italian restaurant, man. This is you making it happen. Yeah, it's thickening it up good. Now we just let that cook for a little bit. And see, this is the part where your shrimp is finally finishing up good, cooking all the way through. Mm -hmm. And then after this, we're just waiting on the noodles and then we'll throw in uh, the rest of it. All right, sounds good. This is one of the best parts about it. You can strain it right from here as well. Ah, so you I see. Pull it up there and then we'll just dump that. Hey everybody, the pasta is ready out of the, the pasta is ready out of the pasta, pasta boat. boat. Pasta boat. All right. Pasta boat. The pasta is ready out of the pasta boat. So we, we strain it right out of there. Right. So I guess we can take it to the sink. Yeah. I'm going to let you. Okay. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. I'm going to put it in my... Look at this recipe. It did not get hungry. You're gonna put it right in there. Right in there. Now we're just gonna stir that up. Now we can dig up all the sauce. It's, it's completely up to taste. I like to take a little, once we get the pasta in there as well, another little shake of slap. We, we're gonna slap it again. Uh, slap go ahead, it go ahead and slap it again. Remember, we're leaving nothing unslapped today. Oh, that, I forgot you told me here. Yeah. Nothing that, unslapped. Real. Another uh, slap. Got it. Love this. And then now, 
add a little bit of that cheesiness to it. We're gonna add about a half a cup of fresh grated Parmesan. This here so Parmesan. earlier it was the mozzarella. Right. Now, now we add the Parmesan. The mozzarella was there to help the creaminess of it as well. Got it. Cause any dirt you can, they can possibly dig up on you. They gonna dig it. So now, so we're pretty much done at this point. We'll just add some uh, parsley flakes for a little bit more flavor and okay. really just some decoration there. Okay. So just get some shaking going right here. It does add a good color pop to it. Get that going there. Hey, Roy, zoom, zoom in on, on this. You can, this is the shot right here. Oh yeah, get all that parsley going right there. That's the shot right there. And really, for me, mm -hmm. that's, that's all it. you gotta do. Done, it's that's good enough. All you gotta do. If it's good enough for you, it's definitely good enough for me. So we can go ahead and take this off the heat then. All right, we can take that off, off that hot cap. Oh, it's this one. Turn that off. Now, right. we're ready to dig in. We're gonna plate it. We'll be right back. Now is the best time tasting time so we're gonna pray and we'll distribute it and we'll taste this recipe for today oh you know what i never asked you what is it called we just started cooking but what is it called really i just usually call it uh chicken and shrimp cajun pasta but since we've already uh kind of titled it i just call it slap your mama pasta <laughs> slap your mama pasta slap there it is pasta. So, uh, i think slap your mama Chicken and shrimp pasta because don't you have to put the two meats in there? Oh, that's yeah, true. yeah you slap your mama chicken not not your mama, not my mama. The go. theoretical mama. Yeah, the <laughs> theoretical yeah. mama. Okay, all right. So let's pray. God, we are thankful for Brian coming to share this recipe with us. And we ask that you bless this food and use it for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I know, right? Well, good that. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you, sir. Only thing I'll, I'll tell people is when you use the slap, <laughs> slap to your taste. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very good, though. Very good. Where did you even get that uh, yeah. spice from? You can get it from Walmart, Food Line, any place. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Slap to your taste. I okay. broke. I broke the rule. I know, don't normally eat all of them sample, but. Uh, oh, yeah. and, I, and I just said we just gonna get past a little. <laughs> I gotta. We gotta go home and eat. I gotta look carried away. <laughs> yeah, you know I gotta. We gotta eat dinner at this, but this is my dinner. Uh -huh. This means some dinner. Uh -huh. It is delicious. It is delicious. It's a simple recipe, but the end result is delicious. And if you're like me, I appreciate simple. Especially if the result of the simple is delicious. And this is simple and delicious. Uh, I agree, simple and delicious, easy for college students right. that can have a microwave in their room. Right, exactly. Um, exactly. But it is really simple and, and, and delicious with the shrimp and the chicken. I was kind of, uh, but it's it's really good. Yeah, you can't go with shrimp, chicken, put them together. Even I love I was saying, you can do one, you can do the other, you can do both. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Well, we're about to go. Anything you want to say, any shout out you want to give to anyone? I'd be remiss if I didn't shout out my mother and father, sister uh, Wendell, well, brother Wendell and Gwen Johnson and my little sister Savannah as well, and all my family. It's a lot of us that go to Lewis Chapel. Yeah, so it is. Shout out to the whole family. Shout Matter of fact, family. it was uh, somebody from your family that did the last Stacey. episode. Stacy, Stacy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Stacy. Stacy who did the last episode of 
Baptist, yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, so yeah, you your family, lot. yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> Matter of fact, we said we did what thirty six episodes. Your family could do all thirty six. <laughs> so many of them. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, being a part of it, and no we will see you next time. Next time we'll be doing it's a surprise, right? It, well, yes. It's a surprise. <laughs> all right. See you next time. Be safe. Be blessed. <laughs>